guys welcome back to my channel thank you so much for tuning in if you are a returning subscriber you are my favorite person and you don't even know it yet so do you know how to make vegetable rice you don't know worry not i got you we'll finish this video with you knowing how to make vegetable rice so what you need is rice and i use the pearl basmati super extra long grain rice i buy this in two kgs the two kgs go for 498 shillings this is the best rice to make vegetable rice because in a tukangekiwa moja moja. And then I boil my rice in Robertson Spice for Rice. You can leave this out. I get it at Carrefour for 268 shillings, but I'm sure you can find it in your favorite supermarket. It's optional. I also boil my rice using coconut milk. That's optional as well, but it has more flavor when you use the coconut milk. And I also use a Royco cube. Now, for frying my rice, I use uh, the Golden Valley peas. This goes for about 288 shillings at Kapo. I'm not too sure. These are my favorite type of peas because they retain that beautiful green color. I also fry my rice in a carrot, dania, and bell peppers. So let me start by boiling the rice. Although I'd advise that you boil your rice the previous night, but because I got you, I'm going to show you how to make it from scratch and the hack to use when you didn't boil your rice the previous night. So let's do it. So I store my rice in this storage container. One cup is enough for me. So that's enough. And then the next thing I'll do is prepare my water for boiling the rice. So now that my water is ready, I'm just going to put one, two cups of water. That's how you measure the water for your rice. So one cup of rice is the two cups of water. And then what I do next is uh, add a Rico cube. And then I put in a teaspoon of the Robertson's spice for rice. Guys, remember this is optional, you don't have to, but it just adds flavor to your rice. I've not seen it with other brands, I've just seen a spice for rice from Robertson's. So I'm not sure if you can get any other spice for rice other than Robertson's. And then what I do next is add three tablespoons of coconut milk it's also optional if you don't like milk so that's enough that's about three tablespoons of coconut milk and then i'm ready to boil my rice so i'm just going to cover that so i just can bring it to boil and then my rice is washed I'm going to put in the rice as soon as my water starts boiling. So now that my water is ready, I'll add in the rice. And then I'll reduce the heat. And leave it to boil so usually i cover my rice only when it's just about to dry up and while my rice boils now i'm going to prepare my veggies if you want your rice to have color just use turmeric and then it will have that uh, egg yellow color but today we're making plain old jane white rice okay so i'm going to start off by chopping my dania into small tiny pieces And then I'm going to put it in a bowl. The next thing I'm going to cut is the carrots. So this is how I do it so that I'm able to cut small tiny cubes. I just hold it like that first. And then you wait 
them like that. Alright, so my carrots are done and I'm going to put them in a bowl. So carrots done. The next thing I'm going to chop is uh, bell peppers. That's enough. You also cut the bell peppers into small, tiny cubes. That's enough. And guys, now that my rice is almost ready, I'm going to cover it. Last but not least, that's enough. So I'm done chopping the little peppers and I'm also going to put them in a separate bowl for the frozen peas you just need a handful that's enough guys my rice is done so I'm just going to put it in this bowl and then I'll show you the next step So guys my rice is now ready so here's a pro tip if you forgot to boil your rice the previous night you will have to spare at least two hours of your time so what that means is because your rice is still hot you will have to wait for it to cool and then once it's cooled for like um, 15 minutes you put it in the fridge and you wait for two hours for it to cool if you had pre-boiled your rice the previous night you can go ahead and make your vegetable rice but now since um, mine is hot, I'm going to put it in the fridge and then I'll see you after two hours. So guys, it's now two hours later. As you can see, my rice is cold as your eggs is hot. And the reason I use a uh, pearl, super extra long grain, is because I don't to moja moja. So what we're going to do now is fry the rice to fry the rice you need half a teaspoon of olive oil I'll also be frying it in my spice my trusted spice this is beef and onion stew mix and I'm also going to fry it in a, a teaspoon of garlic powder and then I'll add in the frozen peas the bell peppers the dania and the carrots so let's do that so guys to fry your rice you need a medium high heat and then you start off by putting like a teaspoon of oil don't put too much oil because that will uh, make your rice soggy and we don't want soggy rice and then the next thing you'll add is half a teaspoon of the beef and onion stew mix and a teaspoon of garlic powder we 
mix that together with the oil. And then you start off by putting the carrots. Then immediately after that you put in the frozen peas. And let that cook for like another one minute. After one minute, you add in salt to taste and stir that. And then you'll add your dania. After one minute, you'll add in your bell peppers. And now stir everything together. Let that cook for like another two minutes and then you will add in your rice. After two minutes you now add in your cold rice. And then stir together. You have to stir gently. And let it cook for another two minutes. After two minutes, your rice is done. So guys, as you can see, my vegetable rice is ready. I'll just taste a bit, not too much. It's perfect and I'm about to make some very serious stew for this rice. So I'll see you on my next video. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you've now learned how to make vegetable rice. It's easy, it's simple. If you have any pro tips, share them with me on the comments down below. Please subscribe if you haven't. And thank you so much for watching this video. Bye. And stay safe. Stay safe, stay safe, stay safe. Sanitize, social distance and wear your mask.